Hey guys, welcome to our channel Code is Arcade. This is Ashank David and in today's video we are going to talk about Node.js and we are going to do Node.js installation in our systems. So let's begin. First of all, let us talk about Node.js. What is Node.js? Node.js is an open source cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment that executes JavaScript code outside of a web browser. Node.js is popular lightweight web framework for beginners and it is used by many big companies like Netflix and Uber. If we talk about what Node.js does, Node.js can generate dynamic page content, Node.js can create, open, read, write, delete and close files on the server, Node.js can collect form data, Node.js can add, delete, modify data in your database. Node.js is also required as a dependency for mobile testing with APM. And also Node.js is required to view Newman's report in API testing. And there are many more uses of Node.js. Also, Node.js is an important tool for any JavaScript developer to understand. So today in this video, let us install Node.js in our systems and let's see how it works. So here, as you can see on my screen, I'll go to my web browser and in my web browser, you have to search for Node.js download. The moment you'll search for Node.js download, this window will pop up and here you are going to click on to the first link that is available. And here, this is the website name Node.js.org. So click on to this and you will see this web page coming up. In this web page, you have to click on to Windows installer if you are using Windows system. If you are using a Mac OS or Apple systems, then you can go for Mac OS installer or you can see the source code on your own. Now, in this case, we are working with Windows. So we are going to download Windows installer. So I'll click on to this Windows installer and it is going to ask me where I need to save it. So let us save it on my desktop as of for now so that I can easily access the setup file. I'm going to save it in my desktop and you can see it is downloaded. I'll minimize my web browser and here I've actually hidden the icons on my desktop. So I'm going to show my icons on my desktop. You don't have to do this step here. This is our setup file. Now in this setup file, I'll just double click and open the setup file and it is going to open up this installation wizard. Now in this installation wizard, I am going to click on to the next on the very first page. On the next page, you will see end user license agreement. Now if you want to go to the next step, you have to click on to I accept terms in the license agreement. So I'll click on to that and I'll click on to next now. Now this is the place where it is asking you where you need to install your Node.js. So here I don't want to change the default path. Default path for Node.js is in your C drive, in your program files, in your Node.js folder. But if you don't want to install it here, you can change it by just clicking onto this change button. And from here, you can select where you want to save in your C drive or D drive or any drive that you have in your system. Now, I don't want to change this destination, so I am going to keep it as default and I'm going to click on to next. Now, in next window here, it says custom setup. Now, this window is going to show you all the required features that comes with your Node.js setup. Here in this case, make sure that Node.js runtime is there, NPM package manager is there and add to path option is there. Here in this case, NPM package manager is one of the important things that you need to worry about as well as this node.js runtime because here see node.js runtime is going to be the runtime for your JavaScript and here NPM packages like through this NPM package we can install multiple different packages which we are going to use later on in our different ways or different fields that requires installation of those dependencies. So 
I don't have to do anything in this or you don't have to do anything in that. I'll just click on to next. So I'll click on to next and here you can see that this is the window for tools for native modules. Here, make sure you check on this option. Automatically install necessary tools. Note that this window will also install chocolatey. So make sure you have checked on this checkbox because after you click on to next and once you install whole Node.js setup, automatically this setup is going to install all the dependencies which are actually needed in your project. So I'll click on to next by checking up this box and I'll click on to next. Next here it says install. So I'm going to click on to install and there you go. It is going to get installed. So right now it may take time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip up this part. There you go. Node.js is installed in your system. You click on to finish. And there you go. It is going to open up this command prompt window where you have to click any key on your keyboard. So I'm pressing any key on my keyboard. And there you go. Again, I'll press one more key and automatically it should open up PowerShell. So it opened up my PowerShell here and it should start installing all the dependencies automatically. So there you can see that it is started installing all the dependencies because we have checked onto that automatically install all the package option. So the, that was very important step. So make sure you install it properly. So this will take some time. And uh, once it is finished, I'll let you know. So there you go. Now it is properly installed. All the dependencies have been installed now. And to exit this, you have to type enter to exit. So I'm going to type enter and there you go. I'll click enter and there you go. It has been successfully installed. Now to check that it is successfully installed, let us go to our CMD. So I'm going to search for CMD here. I've already searched it. That is why it is coming into my recent. I'm going to type here CMD or if you have Windows 10, what you can do is you can just click on to that search bar that comes over here and you can search from there. Or another way of opening CMD is that you press on to Windows and R and this is going to open up this small window of run and here I'm going to type CMD. Or the best way and one of the most important way that you need to open CMD is by searching CMD like this and right clicking on to the CMD and always make sure that you run it as administrator. So CMD has the administrative permissions to do whatever it requires. So there you go. My CMD is now open. And now to check Node.js, I'm just going to type here Node. First, let me just zoom it in a little bit. So I'm going to type here Node space dash V. Press enter. And you can see that version 18.12.1 is showing me. That means it has been successfully installed and it is done. So guys, this is how you are going to install Node.js in your system. I hope you have liked this video and you have understood this video well. If you have any doubts related to the whole installation process, guys, you can comment us below on the comment section and we'll try to solve your doubts as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you have liked this video. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Ashang David signing out.